How you doing, everybody? This is Jonathan King from theclinchreport.com and pugilpicks.com. I am here with UFC Hall of Famer, MMA royalty, Mark the Hammer Coleman. Mark, how you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you for that. That was nice. Uh, it's well earned. Well earned. Well earned. Now you're here uh, tonight. Um, so Phil just weighed in. You're in support of Phil Baroni, going up against uh, Carl Parisian, tough guy. What, what can what can Phil expect from this guy? Well, I think it's going to be a war as usual. Every time Phil gets in there, it's a war. Uh, respect for Carl, for sure. So uh, that, that's why they brought him in. An exciting fight, and uh, I expect nothing less. He uh, says he's going to knock him out, so I, I'll hope for that. I'm praying for that. That'd be nice. Now, you've been in the sport a long time. Phil's been in the sport a long time. How long have you guys been friends? Well, probably 15 years, and uh, he trusted me. And... Uh, I'm, I'm glad he does, and I'm happy to be here. And so whatever he needs to, to make this uh, go a little smoother, uh, I'm, I'm here to do it. So now, it. now Phil, Phil definitely has the edge with the, with the striking. Carl's probably got a little bit more of an edge with the grappling game, his judo background. Do you think this is one of those fights where it's who's going to be able to impose their will first? Well, I think so, but I, I hope, hopefully we're ready for that. We can keep it on the feet and uh, get the knockout. Uh, but uh, if it does go to the ground, uh, he's been on the ground plenty of times. Uh, I mean, he's got some good submissions, obviously, but I, I think we can stay out of him. And if he does go down, he's going to get right, ba right, right back up and uh, start striking. So Phil don't like uh, boring fights, so you know, I think the crowd's going to dig this one. Definitely. Now, Phil also touched on this earlier about how uh, um, in his blog he said you can keep your Dolce diets and your high-tech MMA. I'm going back to the grindhouse. I'm going back to, to kicking pads and, and punching bricks. Uh, do you think the sport's kind of evolved too fast in a sense where um, people are now more athletic than they are actual fighters or tough guys? Well, that's a good question. Uh, there's certainly it certainly has evolved, and there's a ton of athletes in there, and we're finding out um, – wrestlers are athletes that's why they're able to i think seven out of eight champions in the ufc are are wrestlers and uh they're athletes and they're able to transition and uh pick up the stand-up game something uh, i had struggled struggled with but um it's there's so many athletes everybody wants to be a fighter who wants to be a fighter everybody so i think we're going to continue to see this trend now, now, what about wrestlers? Do you think the, that grind that they go through on a daily basis, like, is is that what you think makes them so apt to being MMA fighters? I think so. Um, there's nothing like a seasoned grind in wrestling. Uh, six months, you got to prepare yourself for the all season to get prepared for that six month grind. And uh, I think you transition right into fighting, and I think it's a big help for wrestlers because they're prepared. We've done it for a long time, and I think it just shows, and the, the results speak for themselves. Now, now you, you're retired from the sport, correct? Yes. I don't know if you officially did, so I didn't want to put you on the spot. But um, where can fans find you now? Uh, Corner and Fighters, Phil, or do you have your own gym, Hammer House, still going? Uh, I'm still you know, working with Hammer House people, working with fighters, uh, trying to figure out exactly what to do uh, after fighting. I didn't nail a coffin shut until uh, uh, I had the hip replacement surgery last year, and I still didn't nail it shut after that until, until it fucking popped out. Ooh. And uh, I don't want that to ever happen again. So, yeah, the coffin's nailed shut. So just moving forward and uh, taking it one day at a time. And we got, we got my two daughters and another one on the way. So we'll go from there. MMA world, do you see this guy right here? You could not have a better wrestling coach. Pick up the freaking phone. <laughs> All right, where can they find you on social media? Uh, at Hammerhouse MMA. All right, Hammerhouse MMA on Twitter, Facebook. I'm here with UFC Hall of Famer, and I consider him to be mixed martial arts royalty, Mr. Mark the Hammer Coleman. Mark, thank you very much. Thank you.